What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Juan TV, and I am back with another video. Before we get into today's video, make sure you like this video, follow your boy on IG, make sure you follow your boy on TikTok, and make sure you most importantly subscribe to the channel. We are on the road to 10,000 subscribers, so make sure you hit that subscribe button. All right, y'all, so today's video, we have a shoe that just dropped this past Saturday. I believe it was September 2nd, and these joints was busting. I ain't even gonna lie. Like, everywhere I checked that this shoe dropped, it was sold out. Like, literally everywhere. There was no website that I saw that still had these in stock after the drop. I do think this is one of those shoes that you didn't pick up retail. You might end up regretting it like a year later, a couple years later. I do think these will start busting as far as resale value in a couple years. But yeah, today we're gonna do a review on the Air Jordan 1 and that. Palomino colorway. Wow, so we got the box right here. This has a black and gold Air Jordan 1 box. You got the all over black with gold Nike logos. Size label reads Air Jordan 1 Retro High OG. Colorway is black, metallic gold, palomino. And this is a size nine and a half. It's not a personal. These is for my brother. You know what I'm saying? He couldn't get a pair, so I decided to try to go with his size form and I was able to hit. Popping the joints open. I have looked at these already to make sure you know what I'm saying. Well, nothing, nothing crazy going on. But yeah, we have them here, the Air Jordan 1. OG high in that Palomino colorway. And these is clean. These are very, very clean. Starting with the review, we have a standard Air Jordan 1 outsole all over brown. You have the stars up top. You know what I'm saying? You got the flat piece right here, Nike in the middle. Y'all know what the Air Jordan 1 outsole look like. Going up to the midsole, you do have a all over sale midsole. It is not white, it is definitely a sale color. I feel like it makes the shoe look a lot better. I feel like a white midsole just wouldn't have went with this color palette with the dark brown and the black. I think sale was the right move to go on this specific colorway. And then up top, you have that Palomino colorway, the brown, the black. This is a very iconic color blocking with the bread color blocking. I do have a couple shoes out here. We have the Brads right here and the Royals. And then right here you have, you know, a brown version of those, you know what I'm saying? I do also have shadows, but those in the closet, I don't really feel like getting those. But yeah, this shoe is definitely in that same family. The leather, um, the leather is, it's like, it's nothing crazy. It's standard Air Jordan 1 leather. It's not stiff or nothing, but it also isn't nothing crazy at all either, but gets the job done. And then moving on to the brown, it is like a new buck. It's not really a suede. It does have a very small two-tone motion. You can only see it in certain angles. So it's definitely there. It's just not really that prominent in the shoe, which isn't really a big deal to me, honestly. But to someone else, that might, you know, that might be a deal breaker for them. You have the black popped out wings logo. I really like that they started doing that on Jordan 1s after it lost and found. Lost and found was the first GR that had the popped out logo. And then every Jordan 1 after that started having this logo and I've, I've been loving it. Like you see with the Royals from 2017, you have, the, you know, the logo inwards inside of the material as where on the Palominos you see is popped out. I just think this looks a lot nicer. On the tongue, you do have that metallic gold. Now, I really don't like this detail on the shoe. I mean, it doesn't really ruin the shoe, but me, I like certain details on the shoe. Like, I pay attention to details. This is just, it wasn't necessary. Like, you could have put brown here, you could have put white here. Could have been a triple black Nike Air Tag, something. But the gold, I just, you know, it is what it is, you know? If Palominos is something that, you know, in, involves gold, y'all let me know. Cause I have no idea what Palomino is, but if it doesn't, then you know, no point in having this little hit right here on the tongue. And then also on the insole, you have a black insole with a metallic gold Nike Air in there as well. And that's pretty much it, man. It's an all over black and brown shoe. It is very reminiscent of 
the mochas. Actually, I'm gonna go grab my mochas. All right, so right here we have my pair of Air Jordan 1 mochas. I was able to get these for retail back when they dropped in, I think, late 2020, 2019, one of them years. But yeah, these two are definitely in the same family. You know, the color on the back is damn near the same, honestly. I think the Palominos might be a little bit lighter, just a little bit, but not too much, but it's definitely very close to the same color. And I want y'all to pick, which one would y'all choose? If you had to rock one, are you rocking Palominos or are you rocking Mochas? For me, it's Mochas all day. This is not a bad shoe though. I feel like I'm gonna regret not getting the shoe because I didn't get a pair for myself, not because I didn't hit, it's just because I didn't want them, you know what I mean? But I feel like I might regret not getting these, but it is what it is. Like I said, I got these. I got Travis Lowe's Reverse Mochas, so I really don't need another brown Jordan 1. Unless it's the Travis Scott Highs, you know what I'm saying? If it's the High Mochas, I'll grab those, you know what I'm saying? I can't afford those, I'm saying a lot. But, you feel me? It is what it is. So, right here, I'm picking the Mochas, but I know a couple of y'all in the comments are probably leaning towards Palominos. I just personally like this white on the shoe more is that black toe color block and i love the black toe i think the black toe is an underrated shoe in general as an og colorway but this is also a great shoe so if you end up picking these up that's definitely a w in my opinion all right y'all that is my review of the air jordan one palomino y'all let me know what you think about this shoe let me know if you picked these up for resale did you pay resale did you get them early let me know how you got these let me know if you even like these if you even went for them like i said i think this is a very very good shoe um it's just like i said i don't need these in my collection i'm trying to be a lot more selective this one i didn't have to have i could have got these for retail but i passed on them it is what it is i might regret it down the line it is what it is but this shoe is definitely definitely fire it's definitely a cool shoe definitely a good rotation piece so if you get these not mad at you at all if you like this video, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, all that good shit, all that hot shit. It's your boy Juan TV on the road to 10K subscribers, and I'm gone. Yeah.